the 40, 41, I guess. 42. 40, 40, sorry, 42 proofs that we just had. We are down to last about uh, 10. So just stay right there. We'll let you know when it's gone. Okay. This next item, I was talking about price breaks earlier. And when you watch the shows, we actually don't do price breaks very often. In fact, in the coin world, who hears the price going down? Well, how about a price break of six hundred dollars six hundred dollars off it's a temporary price break and we have it here in this next collection wow that's a big drop in price yeah six hundred bucks that's like a car not a really good one but it, a <laughs> could, car could get your car that's true could get your car <laughs> I, I like it when i can discount it a car yeah it's kind of cool yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and one of the things that I, that I love about this is this set is complete the United States government started making the prestige proof sets right here in 1983. And what they did is they, they, they were prized, they, they've been making proof sets since 1936, but they started making uh, 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 commemorative dollars again in 1983 for the uh, Los Angeles Olympics that you see right here. Hmm. And so they put together this spiffy little thing and put the Olympic seal on it, as you can see right here. And it was the official United States Mint uh, uh, proof set. They called it the Prestige proof set. They put the 1983 on it, put in a little leatherette thing with a little, with a, you know, a little snap on it. And it, was, and it was very, very popular. They reprised that again in 1984. So they did those two. So it's the regular proof set from 83, 84, then with the silver commemorative dollars. Okay. It proved to be so popular that by 1986, they, they didn't do a 1985 because they didn't do a commemorative dollar. In 1986, they did a commemorative dollar again. They actually did a commemorative half dollar that year as well. And so what they did is they started this uh, prestige proof set where they take this whole thing and put it in this beautiful velveteen package that you see here, put the pewter treasury seal on it, and put the entire proof set and the silver dollar and then the, uh, uh, the commemorative half dollar. And they start that here in 1986. That was for the centennial of the Statue of Liberty. And then they do it in 87. For that was the sesquicentennial, or the 200th anniversary of the, uh, uh, of the Constitution. And then they did the Olympics there again in 1988. Now let's move right over here, and then I'll go through all of these. In 1989, that's the sesqu... Oh, sorry about that. The sesquicentennial of Congress is right there. The sesquicentennial is the 150th anniversary. The sesquicentennial. Then you have the 1990, which is is the 100th anniversary of the birth of Dwight David Eisenhower. You've got the 75th anniversary of Mount Rushmore with the Mount Rushmore half dollar, the only Buffalo half dollar ever done by the government. And the 92 Olympics, which is probably the most significant uh, uh, error coin or, or interest coin that I've seen in years, and I'll talk about that here in a minute. Then you have James Madison over there. Then you go over there to Suzanne, and you've got the uh, World Cup right there. As you can see, World Cup. And then you've got uh, uh, the Civil War right there. Then you have Olympics, and then you have the Botanic Gardens. So what you're going to have in here, and because I was doing all the proof sets from these years, I went ahead and threw in a silver proof set. I must have had a bunch of these 1976 three-piece <laughs> oh, sets. Little, little fellows it's here. about an $80 set we're just going to throw in. Yeah. You know, Another 80 bucks. Uh, on this deal. So what it comes down to here is you're going to have five, you have 10, you have 14 sets. You've got 14 silver dollars in this. Okay. 14 silver dollars, every one of which is far rarer than the American silver eagles, okay, from those specific no years. Far rarer than the American silver eagles from those particular years. So you're going to get all of those proof sets plus the dollars and half dollars for basically, what is that, $150, uh, 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 not even $150 a piece, about $120 a piece. I sell silver eagles at $140. You get 14 of these for that price. So you're getting these for less than I would sell this year's silver eagle for. And these are all sold out, limited edition, commemorative dollars in a packaging that is as rare as anything that the United States government has ever put out. When I talk about the 2012 United States government issue set being out there, and being $250, every one of these is rarer than that. Is that considered prestige or just a standard proof? Uh, that's standard proof. These so are not prestige. even the prestige. Well, the prestige proof, they stopped in 1997. Why did they decide to stop it? Because they weren't selling any of them. Huh. People stopped buying them in essence. So if you look at the so most difficult... So this is done. Right. So the, the most difficult set to get of the bunch is the 1996. Grab that set this right one there. Here. If you go to hsn.com, I see that set all the time individually. 
I think it's four hundred and ninety nine dollars just for this one. But they only made like 40,000 of them. I mean, oh it's as rare as the 10th anniversary United States Silver Eagle set that sells for twelve thousand dollars. OK, oh my gosh. the rarity of these, they are significantly exponentially rarer than the regular proof sets for the year, all in the original government packaging. I give you all of these original government boxes that you're going to have right here with all of the original government certificates of authenticity that are going to be in every single one of those boxes as well. I've only got 45 of these sets to go around at the special price break. Now, do you have to wait for a long time to pull these together, or oh, do you find someone who's collected them and then you? Very, very extraordinarily difficult. Okay. If you go to, and, and one of the reasons is, if you go to hsn.com and you look these up, I sell them individually, and I sell them individually, and they're like a twenty-seven or twenty-eight hundred dollars, and I sell tons of them individually. Wow. One of the single most popular items that we sell on a set-by-set -set basis uh, 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 of all the things that we sell here at HSN. Now, these are right, all because the normally they're twenty-four hundred dollars. That's what I we mean, sell tonight, them for. Tonight, tonight. Well, what you sell them for, but I mean tonight we're six hundred dollars off of that, and, and that's unusual for us because certainly you could have come out here and done them once again at twenty three hundred dollars. Sure, and particularly when so, I only have forty five sets. Right, exactly, right, because there's so few of them. But tonight, again, this price break is a limited time, a very limited time. So if you want to get that six hundred dollars off, if there's any left, this will go back up to twenty three hundred dollars. It will not be at seventeen hundred. Yeah, oh, I, because I don't have enough of these, this will be because because uh, uh, price breaks time limited. Right. So this will be my last airing at seventeen hundred dollars oh, because I won't have go. enough to run it again by the time the price break expires because it takes true. me so long. I want to go back to this set right here, and this is a great example of what you get. This is the nineteen ninety two. This is what they all look like from the eighty six on. You're going to get the commemorative half dollar and the commemorative dollar for each one of these, and here's the commemorative half dollar, which is the Olympics as you have right here. Now here's the interesting part. This is one of my favorite sets. I sell these sets individually. Anytime I get them, and they're $120 or something like that, but they're always sold out, and here's why. It's this commemorative silver dollar that you have right here. One of the laws about money in the United States is you cannot put a living American on a coin. And folks, I am here to tell you, and the government swears otherwise, that right there is Nolan Ryan. <laughs> I promise you it's Nolan Ryan. They deny it. But let me show you something. I have something here. I have Nolan Ryan's 1991 baseball card. I have a picture of it right here. Yeah. We'll send you this, by the way, with your thing. Oh, that's this nice. This is his 1991 baseball card. This is the image that's on the dollar. <laughs> now, you, you tell me the difference between those two deals right there. Every fold in the uniform, every lace in the glove, every seam on the ball, every little piece of anything on the mound. Even the folks, dirt. Yeah, the dirt on the, the mound. Everything. That, my friends, is Nolan Ryan from 1992 from his 1991 baseball card. I challenge you to prove me different, okay, <laughs> on that particular deal right there. That's an absolute positive guarantee. So I think that is one of the most controversial coins ever done by the United States government. When I sell this coin set in, Individually, I think it's $129 or something like that. I can sell 500 of them because in about six minutes. Because everybody wants that coin. Everybody wants this coin. But I can get like 45 of them, so I put them in the whole set. Right. I'm going to put this. I'm going to set this down over here. By the way, we started with 45. I now have 40 of them. Now this is another one of those. I understand it's $1,799. I understand, look, this is not for everybody, but it should be. I, like, I wish I could sell it for less. I simply can't. We're under 40 now. i got about three dozen remaining. But you've got some pretty significant other coins. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of walk in front of here and pull some of these sets. I'm going to pull some of my favorite sets, if you don't mind. I'm going to pull the Mount Rushmore set. Now, this was done in 91. We're about to do the 100th anniversary of Mount Rushmore. 91. Okay. These coins right here are being hoarded like nothing I've seen in years and years and years. Because this is the 75th anniversary Mount Rushmore wow. silver dollar wow. and the 75th anniversary Mount Rushmore half dollar. And here's my favorite part of that half dollar. It's America's only buffalo half dollar. There's only one? Oh, yeah, there's only one. Half oh, cool. There's buffalo dollars. Right. Those are like $1,000 a piece. Are there buffalo nickels? <laughs> there's buffalo nickels. There's buffalo quarters. There's buffalo $50 gold coins. And there is one That's buffalo cool. half dollar. It's in cool. this collection right here wow. that you see right here that was sold out in 1991. And then you've got all these other ones. One of my favorites right over there is the last year of issue, the 1997 there. right there. That's the Botanic Gardens. What? Did Botanic you know what's Gardens. the national flower of the United States? Oh, the rose. It is. And the reason you know that? Because it's on the Botanic Gardens dollar coin, and we've sold this.
<laughs> Although, it's, albeit at $2,399, this is a $600 savings. That coin right there, if you can find that right, uh, that coin right there, you're looking at about $249 or something. Just right. Right. I got about three dozen of these sets now remaining. Go ahead. What do you think is the rarest of oh, all the coins? Oh, 96, not even close. Okay. Just the 96 set right in front of you. I have to understand, this that's one. about five, $500 for that set right there. Just this Just one, that set if, in if your If I hand. wanted to get this little guy. By far. Go to com. Look up prestige proof sets. I've got well less than two, do three dozen of these now remaining uh, uh, with this. Go to hsn.com, look up prestige proof sets, and see if you can find the 1996. I don't know if we have enough time here in yeah. the last do we minute have time to for able to do that. Okay, so, now, so understand what we're doing here. I've got 15 sets. Everything that, that's $119 made. a set. Folks, every single one of these I can sell individually at $119, except that one I sell at $450. I sell all the Mount Rushmore's I want at $129 or $139 or something like that. There's not one of these. Occasionally I'll sell the 1990, which is kind of the easiest one to get, the Eisenhower. I think I might sell that for $100. Hmm. But like the Botanic Garden Dollar, anytime I have that, it's $169 or $179 for that Five set top. right there. Right. I am $119 a set across the board. Yeah, go ahead, Suzanne. Is, See how she raises her hand? <laughs> makes it so easy. I do a good question. <laughs> um, what is the rarest one? Would it be the buffalo one? No, no, no. The oh, rarest we're going one back is here the 96. Then. Okay, got it. No, no, no the rarest the, the, single coin. The, well, the 96, because it's by set. Oh, okay, I got you. See what gotcha. I'm saying? All so right. that would be all the rarest coins are in that little red we're one. No, the red oh, one. Sorry, right this that one right there. <laughs> all the rarest coins are in that one. Yes, okay. I'm going to get this straight. I swear I will. <laughs> now, that's of the commemorative. By the way, I've only got about 20 of these left. The commemorative coins that are in there. Because these are the regular proof sets. Now, remember, the 1995 proof set, uh, that's 97, 96. Here's the 1995, right? right. Remember, this regular Kennedy half dollar is 56 50. Oh, right, uh, right. The 97 over there is 53.95. The right. regular proof coins. Not Remember, in Remember, you the get prestige. all the other regular proof coins plus the 15 silver dollars and then the commemorative half dollars that come with all the years and all that other stuff as well. <laughs> okay. How great is that? I got, I got like a dozen. Yeah, that's it. And by the way, $600 off our HSM. Our HSM prices are great on this stuff, right?